guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Yasmin and I hope you are staying as safe and as sane as what you possibly can do within this isolation period. So many people are commenting or reaching out and going, oh my gosh, are you bored in isolation? Are you like, how are you coping? And to me, honestly, like I, my, I was a homebody before all of this. So for me to stay at home is really nothing different. The only thing is, is that, you know, when I come home after going out, then I'm a little more OCD than what I usually am. And I haven't been going to the gym, but I've got like my own little gym set up. And to be quite honest, like I have a list of things like so long that I can do at home while I am currently in isolation or staying at home. And for me, I kind of, when people reach out and say, oh, you know, is this boring or like the hardest thing must be just like staring at all four walls. It's not, like I find that staying at home is actually the easiest part out of all of this for me. Like honestly, I've got like a lot of other things that are worrying me in this particular time than to stay at all four walls. And that's because I was a pretty much of a homebody before then anyway. So that part of my life hasn't really been significantly impacted whatsoever. Weird kind of thing is I do find that there are a lot of like really creative people. And this is just my personal view and my experiences in life. A lot of like um, really creative people are kind of like to stay home or they're introverts and stay at home or whatever. And I think that's because like in our own minds, we're kind of like psychedelic, right? Like we don't need to be outside and amongst people and and everything in order to be entertained because quite frankly what goes on in my own head is pretty entertaining at the best of times that i don't really need to be around people like constantly in order to like entertain myself i actually find my own company quite therapeutic and calming and except when i'm having an anxiety attack because i'm worried about something else to do with this whole situation but that's another story. So anyhow, for today, I'm going to share with you some of the things that I am personally doing to keep myself busy. And I've got, like, as I said, a whole bunch of things that I have every single day that I, you know, like I try to plod through everything, but I guess like it's about a, it's a matter of process of like doing whatever you're doing. So I had taken a break from YouTube kind of like before because I got back to uni. And when this all started when I was at home, I thought like this is a perfect opportunity for me to just start to get back into my channel and start vlogging every single day. Like I'm doing a daily upload right now simply because I'm at home and I have the time in which to do so. So that's one way. I mean, like you might not be interested in vlogging or videoing or whatever, but you know, you've got a phone, you've got a whatever. I'm sure all, all of you have like a social media of some sort, like pick up some sort of hobby along the way. Like for me, I treat vlogging as like a hobby for me. Um, it really is like, that's how I look at it and that's how I treat it. And I take what I put into it very seriously, but at the same time for me, it's technically a hobby because I don't make money off my YouTube yet. So that's it. So if you pick up a hobby of some sort, like you might have a hobby of whatever and then keeping in mind that you know like generally most of us are staying indoors and depending on what country that you are in like some of us are more isolated than others but you know in Australia we can still head out for exercise and you can still go for bushwalks if you're able to and you know you're able to get there because you know you can't go traveling and stuff like that but if you pick up a hobby of like some description I have like I got this picture journal book, like which I told you about before. Now, I don't spend a lot of time, I've only actually had the time to do this once, but I drew a little picture in here last Friday night when it was a Friday night and typically on a Friday night I would be working before or something. And so last Friday I, I drew a little picture, but you know, drawing or painting even is very therapeutic, something in the arts. I also have I also have like a bunch of like empty candle jars. So while postal services are still open, I mean, another way is you could buy a bunch of stuff to get candles and like make your own candles at home, but start to be creative. And like the hobbies can be like something just like really creative, but it's also a really good distraction. And then you have something at the end of it. You might want to make soaps, you might learn, want to learn how to make your own body lotions or 
learn how to do things yourself. So because all the nail salons are currently shut down, um, we can't go out. And my thing is like looking after my feet. I did my own pedicure today. Before, I used to always do my own pedicures. Like I never got the nail salon ladies to do it because I'm super, super ticklish on my feet. So um, today it was kind of nice. You know, I did my own pedicure and all I needed for that was like a nail plane, an alpha, a cuticle upper cuticle like clipper thingy a nail file and a buffer and then you know my nails are naturally fine and I do have like some other nail lacquer that I can use like nail hardeners and stuff if I decide to put those on but personally right now I'm kind of just being all natural so you know you can always you know do some home pampering things like a face mask or a hair treatment and these are ways to keep busy so I got I checked my bank statement today and then I saw that um Dropbox, I still have a Dropbox account, you know, with the Dropbox where you store your files in. And I'm like, man, I pay a lot of money for that every single year. So another thing that I have to do in my little list of things to do is to transfer all my files that are on Dropbox into a hard drive so that, that next year I'm no longer going to be paying for Dropbox business any longer. Like I'll still keep the Dropbox regular open, but that's still like a project that like it can do and it will take up your time and it's something that's going to save money in the long term, right? Um, and just so I'm like uh, not losing track of what I need to do, every single day I'm journaling. And I've mentioned my journal previously. I got this journal for like $2 down at the office works store and every single day and I write down my goals and how I'm feeling in isolation and things I need to get done and things that I'm like happy about and things that are good and so every single day I write down to do so and then I have like another piece of paper that I have like my isolation pretty much to do's during isolation like the big ones and then I add in there every day, like, okay, so today I'm going to do this and this and this and this. And I've added things in here that weren't initially on that because I found things along the way, like the Dropbox thing, for a classic example. So if you're in Australia and I've actually enrolled in some of these, TAFE has off, have like listed 31 short courses that are completely fee free. They usually have a fee attached to them, but because of this current crisis and now a lot of people have lost their jobs and their incomes and everything, they're doing, they're waiving the fee subsidies on these courses to reskill yourself. So they like, there are some really cool ones. There's some ones in healthcare, there's some in digital marketing, there's some in office admin and, and, and everything. I've actually enrolled in four of them because I'm like, wow, this is awesome. That first of all, no fees when usually there'll be, you know, over a thousand dollars each one to do. Um, and it's a great way to like, obviously kill a lot of time, but you're also increasing your skill set as well and learning something new or just even might be something that you already know, but perfecting it. And so you can do it better. So I've enrolled in four of those actually. So that's going to keep me really, really busy in isolation as well. But in saying that there is a whole bunch of free courses online. Like I'm seeing adverts about free courses in, you know, health hygiene, like how to, you know, keep a business safe from coronavirus. And there's a whole array of them, like language courses and a whole bunch of things. And even like I'm doing a bunch of workout videos, there's a whole array of workout videos that are free online at the moment. Get yourself a little gym set up. Like you don't have to go out and spend any money. You can go out and get like a backpack and fill a backpack full of books or water bottles. Like I saw someone really do like the other day on Instagram. It was pretty awesome. Like water bottles can fill, be filled up with rice and to give, make them give weight. So there are so many like at home body weight exercises that you can do and that'll take up your time as well. Learn how to cook. Like I don't really like cooking at all it's not my thing at all but to learn how to cook can be can like something really therapeutic and also you're going to be saving money by like ordering out and it also you know it gives you something to do you have something amazing at the end of it then if you learn how to take photos and build up a nice social media page you can make a nice social media page but if you have lost your job or anything like that take this opportunity to start to think creatively like you can increase your skill set by doing the free courses online um, and think of like business ways in which you can make like, a passive income on the side digitally um, online because you know physical contact and social distancing is, is kind of like a no-go now for me personally too I found it like a really good time to date online and the reason I found it is a really good time to date is because of social distancing you're not like trapped into 
oh, we have to go to a day and sit down and then there's not this thing of expectation that they're going to get a booty call at the end of it because like, you know what I mean? Social distancing. So they're like digital online dates. It's pretty awesome. So I actually found, found that now is like the perfect time to like to, to today because there's no like obligation to like physically have any contact with a person like afterwards it's the best so i hope you liked this video please stay safe if you like to give it a thumbs up as well as the subscribe and the bell notification and stay tuned for another episode tomorrow of at home with me staying safe from coronavirus bye